Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. Right around the what, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, you know, the end of April. This is a daily reading, but the timing is fluid, and this reading is not sign specific. So, what do we have today? The Four of Pentacles reverses is opening up, uh, sharing. The Magician reversed. Six of Cups reversed. Now, uh, there's been some sort of manipulation. This is a tricky situation. We have a tricky situation that is about to become shared. Somebody's about, somebody's been uh, hiding some information. They have. They've been hiding some information, but it looks like they're about to open up. There's been some sort of lies with the magician reverse. This is lies. This is sneaky, uh, tricky. This is a trickster, somebody that is very cunning, very skilled at deception. So this is a lot of deception. So somebody, but somebody's about to tell. That's what this is. Somebody's been, there's, we have somebody here that's very deceptive. Okay. And I'm not sure if this is, may have something to do with children because of the six of cups here. So it may have something to do with children, it may have something to do with the past. You know, um, now this is, uh, things are always changing. Now there could be some neglect. So there could be some child abuse. Nothing changes, cha stays the same. This is coming, um, out of rehab or therapy, something about therapy, counseling, um, counselors, there's, there's, um, somebody maybe being, somebody was lying. They could have been lying about the children, lying about their past. Oh, that's what it is. Lying about their past. This is lying and this is the past. Somebody was lying. They were hiding. They were hiding the truth about their past. Somebody was hiding the truth about their past. Now, even maybe about their childhood or about their children because of the Six of Cups. Now, lies can get you in trouble because this could be freedom from obligation. Now, this is, could be lying about child abuse, you know, trying to cover up for somebody because this is trying to hide. Somebody may have been trying to cover up or something, to covering up some sort of neglect or something because Six of Cups reverse can be neglect or child abuse or, or something about the past. So somebody's definitely been lying about the past, lying about something, but somebody's about to share some information. Six of Swords reversed. Now, uh, refusing to see a new approach, troubled, in a very troublesome situation, refusing to move on, causing trouble, causing, causing trouble. Somebody's causing trouble. King of Pentacles reversed. Now, this is somebody who wants to have their cake and eat it too. Somebody that's overindulging, lazy, corrupt, um, unstable, insecure, mm -hmm. selfish, male or female. This person is losing their ground. They are unstable. They're losing their mind. Uh, somebody is losing it. They're losing it. They are. They're losing it and they're going to cause some sort of trouble. Um, definitely have a liar here. We have a liar here that is, is probably paranoid. There could be some paranoia with the six of cor uh, swords reverse. There could be some mental issues. We could have somebody here that has some mental issues. Um, for sure. Right here with these two cards, with these two cards right here, we could have somebody here that is, you know, definitely losing their mind. Um, they lie. Could be a pathological liar. Delusional. Okay. This could, this could even be some sort of, um, not sure what is going on, but, uh, it doesn't look good. Um, six of pentacles reversed. Look at these. Then we have another one. Six, six, six. All three of them are reversed. All these cards are reversed. And I don't want to hear that my deck is reversed. It's not reversed. You take a look at that. That one's not reversed. Okay. It's not reversed. 
Um, it just happens to be. That means there's an absence of stability. There's an absence of success. There's an absence when the cards come out reversed. They come out reversed for a reason. Something is coming to an end. Okay, this is the death of an idea or person, and you don't have to like me. I'm just telling you what. Somebody's life is going in the wrong direction with these sixes reversed. It would be a completely different message if they were all in the upright. And that wouldn't be the accurate message, okay? The accurate message is, is that somebody's life is, is unharmonious. It's not going in the right direction. It's going in the wrong direction. Somebody is going in the wrong direction. They are losing it. There's an abuse of power. They've abused some sort of generosity. This is a greedy individual. There's been some sort of greed. There's definitely been some sort of neglect. There, this is a fraud. This is a con. This is somebody that has abused their power. Somebody that is very dominant. Some, this is there's some sort of inequality here. There's some sort of theft or abuse. Okay, there's some sort of abuse here. Um, somebody maybe could be, could have become unemployed and now they're losing their mind because they've lost their money. You know, things are falling apart really fast. So with all these sixes reversed, somebody needs to get their life back on track and they're going in the wrong direction. They're very materialistically focused and they don't have the money anymore. They don't have the means and so they're losing it. There could be, you know, a, I mean, when you get the magician reversed, there could be some sort of violence. Okay, somebody is getting paranoid. They may be getting paranoid because they're not, no money is coming in. Four of Pentacles reverse, four King of Pentacles reverse, six of Pentacles reverse. It's like there's a loss of money, there's a loss of stability, there's a loss of security. So somebody is going to extremes when you get the reversals. It's extremes, okay? When That's why they come out in reverse because it means something is happening in extreme. So we have some extreme imbalance here. Somebody's mentally imbalanced and they're losing it. So you need to protect yourself. And, I, and the reason I need, to, I need to tell you that you need to protect yourself is because I started the daily with another deck and the first card that came out was the Knight of Pentacles. It was a different deck in the Knight of Pentacles. And this deck happened to be... Um, this card right here so this is the this guy what's this a prairie dog protect protect your home protect your boundaries okay that's what came out was the first card so um you need to protect yourself because there is somebody here that is losing it and they're losing it because they're losing their mind they're losing their mind with the magician reverse they're it's like um, they don't, their resources, the magician is about, their resources are dwindling with these, all these pentacles reversed and because they're re and they're so materialistically focused that, you know, they can't master their emotions. Um, so they, I feel like this person lied about who they were and now their true colors are coming out. Um, there's an abuse of power here. There is this person, uh, I feel like, um, they are being freed from obligation, whether it's of their children or their job. They've been, maybe they've been fired. They've been let go. And um, there's definitely some chaos with all these sixes reversed. Um, losing money, losing income, losing their mind as well with the six of swords and the magician reversed. Um, five of cups. Five of cups is grieving focusing on a loss focusing on a loss and grieving grieving and not there's an opportunity over here that is being missed there's an opportunity to celebrate there's an opportunity to you know uh, do something else but this person cannot stop grieving cannot stop thinking about what has been lost so you know we have somebody here that is really suffering they're suffering and uh, they, they probably feel like this is a terrible injustice. This really isn't fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. Now that you see this one is upright. It's upright for a reason. We have somebody here that is uh, feeling like, you know, this isn't fair. It isn't fair. Everything happens for a reason. There's another opportunity that is better. It is. It's a better opportunity, but it's being missed. It's being missed because this person is so focused on what has been lost. Um... Seven of Cups reversed. Now that is becoming clear. Because choosing another option. There's another option here. There's another option. Somebody is starting to, or they're going to need to see that there's another option. There is definitely another option with these two cards. But with the Six of Pentacles, it's like not listening to any advice. Okay? 
um, wanting to be in control. There's definitely, I don't know if this is unemployment or something like that. Um, a lack of funds, a lack of resources and wanting it to, to be their way. I want it to be my way and it's not going to be your way. It's time for a change. So somebody is having a hard time accepting change, focusing on what has been lost. And this is over here. This You notice this one is separate. Needing to Somebody may need to protect themselves. You know, they may need to protect themselves because this person is losing it. Um, yeah, definitely need to protect yourself. The page of that is protect, defend yourself, protect yourself. That is the meaning of that card. Defense. There could be some news of legalities. This could be an enemy, an enemy at the gate. Somebody is agitated. They're agitated. So there could be, you know, somebody that is agitated. They want to fight. They want to blame. They want to place blame. So beware. You may need to protect yourself. You may need to protect yourself. Somebody may be seeing, you know, or thinking, you know, that it's somebody else's fault. Okay. Placing blame. Definitely. Definitely placing blame. Um... Page of Cups reverse. This is somebody that we have an individual here that is probably uh, speaking, saying something out of emotion, you know, because they are unhappy with the current circumstances that they are in. There is also a child or a children here that may be speaking up. They may be saying some things without even thinking. Okay, somebody may be saying something. Um, you know, without even thinking, because the Page of Swords can say stuff with, you know, just saying the facts, just saying the truth, just saying it. And if it, this is, these are children, and these are both children, so maybe so, there's a child that is telling something, that is saying something that causes, you know, an uproar. Um... We definitely have somebody here that is refusing to move on. They're refusing to take a new approach. They're very, very stubborn, very controlling, very, very controlling, doesn't like to let go, uh, doesn't, uh, having a very hard time letting go, struggling. And this person is, is, um, Grieving over a lack of, of uh, reciprocation. They're grieving. Somebody is grieving over a loss, for sure. Um, but this is somebody seeing, and this could be an investigator. I mean, I, mean, I don't know I'm changing this, but this, is, this could be an investigator or somebody that is seeing something clearly, that this isn't stable. So there could be somebody that is watching, that is seeing that something isn't stable. The Page of Cups reversed. Now, the Page of Cups reversed is somebody's bubble being burst, somebody that is obsessed with image. This is an unrequited love situation, and this is too. So there's an unrequited love situation here, and there's also childhood issues with all these cards. So something goes all the way back to a person's childhood. Somebody had a very messy childhood and they haven't been able to heal from it. And now they're vindictive. And that's why they're so controlling and they have a hard time letting go of control. We may have a rejection here. There could be, there, there's a, there is a rejection. These sixes in this page of clubs reverse is a rejection here. And because of the rejection, because of the loss, because of the uh, the feelings, the overwhelming emotional feeling of loss, of whatever this loss is, somebody could be com become combative. I just, I have to be honest with you. There's no emotional growth. Now, now, there could be a child that has been abused or neglected that's just not growing. And that's some sort of truth coming out. This is opening up. This is a horrendous loss. The Wheel of Fortune, this is bad luck. Somebody, um, ha is, something is coming back to haunt them. Something is coming back to haunt them. Uh... 
somebody, I don't know if it's prison or being trapped, uh, being confi confined, somebody has uh, allowed themselves or they were in a situation that confined them, that trapped them, uh, they chose to be there. This is the past coming back. This is karma. Bad karma, though. Wheel of Fortune. Something about prison or confinement or... Um, unable to see. Somebody was unable to see that they were in a bad situation. They were unable. They were choosing to not see. It feels like we got have some, it's like obviously somebody tied this person up. You know, trapped this person. Made this person stay. Made this person feel like they had to. This person could have spoken up but chose not to because it was comfortable, even though it wasn't. So somebody chose to stay in a terrible situation because it was safe. It's what they knew. So anyway, the, the Wheel of Fortune reversed is bad luck, bad karma. Somebody is going to be experiencing something. Something is coming back to haunt them. Be prepared to defend yourself and be oh, because of your uh, lack of of somebody didn't do the right thing. They lied with that magician reversed. They lied. That's a that's a that's a pathological liar, right? Somebody that is very manipulative. They lied about their past. They were they got themselves involved in an unrequited love situation because of their own mental conflict. They involved another person and caused this other person to be with them while they were probably still in love with their past or something like that. Or they have some childhood wo wounds that haven't been healed. Anyhow, I see I see uh, grieving over a loss. We have a very um, materialistic individual here who uh, made a poor choice by the looks of things with a seven of cups underneath. Okay, they made a poor choice. And now this is something coming back around. Something is coming back around. Their poor choice is coming back to haunt them. There could be news of legalities or something like that. Or it's karma hitting them because this is a card of karma in the pocketbook, the purse. There's a loss of business, a loss of money, no work coming in, no money coming in. You didn't, somebody didn't do the right thing. And this is unfortunate. So we have an unfortunate loss here because of karma. And that's what I got. Good luck.